off of here. What he likes to do is he likes to tag at A, B, C. You're going to have your descending aorta, that's the A. You're going to have your descending aorta, brachiocephalic, and then it's the bicarotid for C. Okay, he likes to find those. There's a plasticized structure somewhere. You can find a better heart. These are just not the not the best. I had to open this heart today, so we're not really sure where this one came from. There's a better heart somewhere buried, <laughs> but know <laughs> this. This we used to have a heart that looked just like this, and I don't know where it is. Yeah, there's a wedge structure somewhere that looks really great, and he can tag like your right and left subclavian or your bicarotid trunk. So make sure you know this diagram and you know which one comes yeah. off first. And know that your right subclavian goes with your bicarotid, whereas the left kind of leaves beforehand. Okay, left leaves. All right, the other things to really think about with the heart, um, let's see, let's situate ourselves, right and left sides. So on the right side, what groove do you have? Which one? I think it's pericolum. I think it's pericolum. Yes, it is. Don't be certain. Left is substanyosal. The thing with this one, so I had to open him up. So give me a minute to find the opening, and then we will show it to you. Come back here. All right. Do you see where my hemostats are? You might have to. I'll show it to each of you. There's that one. Right there. Right there. That's the sign. The left is very normal, right? No. Yeah, no, you're fine. It's the coronary, coronary sinus. sinus. I'm like, not conus sinus, coronary sinus. So he tends to like coronary sinus. He loves your moderator band right there. What's another name for the moderator band? <laughs> Trabeculae septomarginalis. And sorry, right is subsinual, so left is periconal. Left periconal. Left periconal. Right subsinuosal. Okay, that's in your um, things. Which is the dominant artery? Yes. Which the kind right. of circle? Right. The right. Um, know that you have your left and your right auricles with your right and your left atrium, right and your left ventricles. It's the same, just basic, same structures. He does like coronary sinus. He loves moderator band, and he will tag it. I almost guarantee you he's going to tag it. And he probably will tag something on the trunk if he can find, he can find the other one. This, don't worry about this. No one cares about the pericardial sac. Um, so what are, sorry, this heart has just not been opened before, so. What are these little bands? You see the little bands? Yep, cordy tendony. Up at the top. Might have to. Oh, good. Yeah. Just might tag those. Might not. Can you show us where there's sinus over here? Yeah. That little hole. Uh, this no. little one. Okay. Each. Yeah, that little hole right there. Okay. So, that doesn't matter. Um, so, I wish I had numbers. <laughs> don't, I don't have the scalpel. So, which kidney is this? Why is it right? Because it's heart shaped. If you get confused, um, the like the technique we always learned with Sam and them was that if you put a pencil, like this one is about equal both ways around, but this one's not. Okay. Um, again, please don't judge my awful cut. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, okay. What are these? These little arteries right here. Interlobar. Interlobar. I think it's ER, but not interlobular. Interlobar. Okay. Um, other than that, remember our thing before? If he sticks a probe down. What is it? Uh, pelvis. pelvis. Pelvis and up. Crest. Crest. The crest. That's really it. Is there anything special else about the kidneys? Um, I wasn't paying attention. The, the, the <laughs> pelvis, yeah. crest, the two sure. yeah. the He was saying something about the, like, the end right of the from left. terminal, like, terminal recess, was it, like, cranial and they're up there, so it'd be like right there. And you could still throw he could, he could tag that, 
I've not seen him do it, but I don't put it past him. Eternal Bone Recess are just like little blind ends. Oh, the, um... You did the recess? Yep. Yeah, that's it. That's really... Kidneys are simple. It'd be on a better one. It'd be on a much better cut one. And whoever's kidney that is, tell them I apologize. <laughs> I'll get them like Skittles or something. They're really upset. Okay, so let's do some week bro. So, this is the external urethra right here. If he takes a piece of paper and shoves it up like that, that is your dorsal urethral sinus. That's where smegma and stuff collects. Kind of disgusting. If he wraps a piece of paper around this urethra, He's looking for the fossa glandus, okay? Now, this itself is the glands penis. This area around the glands is the corona glandus. This is the prepucial ring right here. This is the prepucial orifice. You guys know what kind of penis a horse has? Musculocavernosis. Musculocavernosis, and it's telescoping, okay? Open them up. This is your tunica albuginea. On the, all the way around. These little white things are the trabeculae. This is the corpus cavernosum muscle. You have your bulbous spongiosum and your retractile penis muscle. It should be right down here, right there. Okay? That's just the urethra. Okay? So you have corpus, I'm sorry, corpus spongiosum and bulbous spongiosum and the retractile penile. And we come up here. This is your urinary bladder, right here. These are cut, but these are the ampulla of your ductus deferens. This is your vesicular gland. This is your prostate. Between your prostate, there's the isthmus. The muscle, right here, is the urethralis muscle. And then you have your bulbal urethral gland. This, is, this specimen, I think, is 10 years old, so it's not gonna look like your drawings, so just come in and do it a couple times. Otherwise, it kind of just looks ridiculous. That's the male. Oh, forgot he has this now. So here's the testicle. This should be connected. This would be like your cremaster muscle. Remember, it has the vaginal tunic around it. There's vessels and meconium. There should be a meconium, but it's been torn. Uh, you have epididymis. This ligament right here is the proper ligament of the testes. This should be the ligament of the tail of the epididymis. Okay? Nothing too special about the testes other than that. He will probably put, I'm not sure if it's on the lecture or on the lab, probably put one or two different testicles and ask you which one belongs to which species. So just review them. Okay? And then for the female, this is the dorsal commissure. It's pointed. And this is the ventral commissure because it's rounded. It's like a teardrop. Okay? So when you open it up, this is the glans clitoris. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> glans clitoris. And then the area around it is the clitoral fossa. Okay. This is the vestibule. This is the external urethral opening or orifice. Right there. Moving up. These are the longitudinal folds. This is the cervix. Around the cervix are annular fornices, which are just these kind of grooves around the cervix itself. He will probably stuff a piece of paper in those. He never asks people to be specific. Technically, he could ask you dorsal or ventral annular fornices, but he's never done that. It's normally just annular fornices. Okay? Moving up, we're now in the uterus. This is the uterine body. Here are the uterine horns. What he does like a lot, let me find a good one. Should be, we'll grab this one. This one's the best. Okay, do you see this sac that the ovary is sitting in? What is it? Ovarian bursa. Ovarian bursa. And see this kind of like sac that the ovary just kind of sits in, surrounding it on this side? That'd be your ovarian bursa. Whereas this groove in the ovary itself is the ovulation fossa. Okay? He loves to tag these and he will tag it. He will pick one. So don't get them, convert, like get them confused. A lot of people confuse ovulation and ovarian. So just get them right now. Ovarian bursa, ovulation fossa. And what is this little stuff hanging off? Is ovarian? Fimbria? Hmm? The fimbria. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
And that's really it for repro. Are there any questions before we move on to some osteology? No? And actually, quick yeah. question. The, the pupillar ring is the one that's more... Um, yeah, the pupillar stall? ring is more closer to the end. Okay. And the orifice, and they're, orifice. They're, they feel funny. So this one's really soft, where this one is like hard and kind of rigid. Okay. So it, when it telescopes in, the glans penis will go into the ring, and the ring will go into the orifice. Okay. 